Flowers sing their dinky waffle song and hold it! Oh, who wrote this? Taffy! All right, let's try it again. <clears throat> Today's thrilling and barbaric tale begins with thrilling and barbaric shopping. Whoa, my shoes! Yeah, getting new shoes is like going to the dentist, only with less drool. Or in your case, more. Here comes Golder the Hot! He's like the cutest boy in Utragon! Hi, Golder! Did he snub me? How could he snub me? Holy doggy bladders! It's Bicepia the Warrior Woman! The boys are going nuts over her! What's she got that I haven't got? <laughs> And lo, Fang does blow her whole allowance on a bicepia poster. She's as big as you are. Yeah, but I bet she can't knit. A barbarian who knits. Mm -hmm. You mark my words, David. This will end in sorrow. Bicepia makes me feel like such a skinny little shrimp. I gotta find a way to beef up a little. I can do it for you with my magic. She, yeah, you'd probably turn me into some kind of a giant freak. Uh, isn't that the whole idea? And lo, Fang takes candy to the dread chamber of pain and suffering mortals know only as the gym. Okay, we're gonna start you off with a simple bench press. How's it work? You lay on this bench, and I drop this giant boulder on you. If you can move it, you'll be stronger! Yarr! Um, maybe we could start with something more survivable? Fine, how about some leg extensions? Tie your calves into this machine, and this wild boar tries to tear them off. If you keep your legs, you'll be stronger! Yeah! This is survivable. Make up your mind. Do you want to be alive or in shape? How about some work with the abominables? You mean abdominals. No, 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 no. We throw you in a cage with a couple of abominable snowmen, and if you get out alive, you'll be stronger! Your? Katie's decided to go for the magic muscles. Some nonsense about not wanting to die. Great! Here, all you gotta do is eat one of these magic carrots. Uncle Oswich! Right, yeah, carrots are good for your eyesight, not your muscles. You want the magic broccoli. Come on, eat it. Don't look so scared. How can I not look scared? My eyeballs are the size of Cocker Spaniels! Nothing's happened. <laughs> Kazanka! Hot stuff! I'm gonna go show off! Yo! And yay, Princess Candy does take her newly transformed body to the great indoor marketplace. And the results are highly pleasing. Whoa! Looking good, Candy! Hey, my Sepia's still here! Yeah! And she's still bigger than me! Maybe I need just a smidge more magic broccoli. Holy country-style potato salad, Candy! You're huge! You know, Candy don't sound tough enough. From now on, you call me the can! Uh, okay. Your The can is bigger than you! Do you challenge by Sepia? Yes! The can is strong as ox! I show you! You are huh? prepared to fight! <laughs> um, 
You win! My Zippy and the Warrior Woman is scared of my sister! Cool! Greatly do the boys admire Candy's brawny physique. Look how big is my bendy thing with hand at end! You mean your arm? Looky here! I knitted Candy a new sweater! That won't fit her, Dave! She's even bigger now! Darn it! I'll have to give this one to the horses, too. Wow, I feel all cozy. We gotta help Candy! She keeps eating that broccoli and getting bigger and dumber! I warned her not to eat any more of that stuff. No, you didn't! Well, I should have, so there. Come on, where is she? Outside wrestling trees! No! <laughs> Three out of two? Three, get up now! One wrestle! I'll give you a wrestling. <laughs> Fang, good necklace! Pretty! Stop it, Fang! Violence won't help. Wow, you're right, she does make a good necklace. Dang! We're supposed to be helping Candy! Right. <clears throat> Candy! I'd like you to read this book on the dangers of magic broccoli. <laughs> no books! Books make the can hurt in place where things come from. Go for switch! No problem. Where's that magic pineapple that reverses the magic broccoli spell? <laughs> Without that pineapple, Candy's condition is irreversible! Uh... <laughs> irreversible? Does that mean it's waterproof? It means we can't change candy back, you numbskull! Nobody changed the can back! The can life beams gone! Yeah! And so, the can storms through Udragoth, growing ever larger and wrestling everything in her path. That's what I'm afraid of. Hotty boy, teeny tiny! Uh, hey, the can? Remember we made a picnic date? I just wanted to cancel that. Why, hotty boy, do this? Because the, the sun broke. There's only one thing to do. Since Candy has devolved into a subhuman ape, we must seek help from the Master of Evolution. Yea, our heroes do seek the Master of Evolution, going on a long and perilous journey. Which is pretty stupid, because the Master of Evolution lives right next door to them. Huh. You'd think we would have noticed that place there before. Hello? Ah! Enter. Have no fear. Have no fear? I'm guessing you don't know Dave. Why have you come here? Well, uh, my sister's devolved. She certainly is. How long have you been a monkey? I'm not a monkey! No, 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 though that one. Can you evolve her back to normal? You people have no idea how much work it is to evolve something, do you? I spent a billion years just trying to get something with a spine! Please! Oh, what the heck? I'm a sucker for a cute little monkey. I'm not a... Tell you what, I'll meet you halfway. If you can get her brain back to normal, I'll do her body. Deal. A monkey! Thus do our heroes undertake to re-evolve Candy's brain using the most advanced educational techniques, such as fitting pegs in holes. of her problem-solving abilities. Can she determine how to cross the river? <laughs> and, of course, puppets. We're going to sing about colors! Red, red and blue and yellow. yellow. 
red, a blue, and yellow. The can by puppets. The can noise. You think she's okay? Dude, stop doing the puppet voice. You blew it with her brain. No way am I going to evolve her back now. Alas, what can be done? What hope is there for Candy? What if our heroes can never return her to normal? What if she is doomed to life as a knuckle-dragging subhuman? What if I hang you from tree and learn you look and call Pinata? Oh, evolve you back to normal? Why didn't you say so? <laughs> Presto Evolvo. Hurrah! You're back to normal! And you've learned that it's not what's on the outside that's beautiful, it's what's on the inside. Your heart. And your liver. Your gallbladder. And your spleen. Thanks, guys! From now on, I'm never gonna change myself again! After you finish my nails, I want a completely different hairdo, then I'm buying a whole new wardrobe, then I'm gonna get my lips stung by bees for that full, pouty look. Don't you work at the gym? Oh, just part-time. Oh, honey, pink is definitely your color. The Jabbers! When a tale is so great that it has passed down through the centuries, we call it a legend. The story we're about to hear is not that great. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not a bad story. It has chickens in it. It's just not great. This one outlines in gold. You got more pants. There's one from Cousin Mimp, one from Uncle Alaric, one from Mom's karate teacher, and two from people I've never even heard of. Bejabbers. Why is everyone sending you pens? Oh, it's not just pens. All wrong, world upside down. I'm the princess in this family. Do you know how long it's been since I've gotten a gift basket, a gift certificate, a nice card? I'm calling Mom and Dad. And so Oswich contacts Thraktar and Glimmia with the Mystic Cauldron of Summoning. Oh, Mystic Cauldron, I call upon... Hey, Mom and Dad, pick up already! Hi there, sugar bee. Oh my gosh, are you all right? Sure, why do you ask? Oh, the chains! Well, when you fight evil, sometimes you're gonna get put in a fiendish death trap from which you have to heroically escape at the last instant. So, what's up? Dave's getting presents and I'm not! Tell him to quit it! Of course he's getting presents. It's time for Dave to perform his right of pillage. Perform? Look out, people! Here I come! No, perform your right of pillage, the ritual by which you will become a real barbarian. Or not. No fair! How come Dave gets a ritual and I don't? Girls get something different, honey. The right of postage. Remember last year when you had to lick all those stamps? Oh, yeah. I thought that was just a summer job. Don't worry about your right of pillage, son. You ransack a town, rob the peasants, then bang! Home for cake. Easy peasy. Well, I guess if there's cake. Of course. If you blow it, our family will be disgraced and humiliated for all eternity. But no pressure. Oops! The dungeon keeper's coming! Time for us to pull off our heroic escape and destroy the citadel. Goodbye. To learn more about the rite of pillage, Fang takes Dave to the Cavern of Ceremonies. There, they encounter a terrifying obstacle. <laughs> the receptionist. Aha. 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 Excuse me. Aha. Aha. Four feet of rubber hose and a cream pie. Aha. Aha. Okay, bye. Um, this is my brother. He has an appointment. Down the tunnel, right at the stalagmite, left at the stalactite. Wait, is stalagmite the up one or the down one? <laughs> as the pillage master but you may call me gloria that's a pretty name so david have you spent these past 16 years studying studying your tests will be great behold behold doggone it when you're 
expecting a right of pillage. Meet Galar, a lad on the cusp of his right of pillage. I am both nervous and excited. <laughs> I'm sure you are, Galide. Are you ready? Ah! I was nervous at first, but then it was very much fun. Ah! Ah! Gallard is a fine young barbarian. I am both ruined and impressed. Good work, Gallard. If we had more young men like you, we'd have fewer peasants. <laughs> Today, I am a barbarian. No peasants were harmed in the making of this film. Well, okay, three. So, what say you? I have seen the face of evil. If you don't pass your right of pillage, the whole family will be disgraced. But how can Easy. I? I'll train you! Why do I just know this is going to be painful? At once, Dave embarks on an arduous training regimen. Okay, they are the innocent villagers. You are the fierce barbarian. I think you know what to do. Of course. <clears throat> I would like to formally apologize for all the trouble we barbarians have. Ow! Scare them! Scream at them! Run and yell! Run and yell! Yarg, 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 yarg. Wonderful, yarg. David. You're about as scary as a quart of non fat milk. Okay, um. Yarg! Good job. Dave! Real barbarians steal chickens all the time! <laughs> Keep plundering! Steal that gold! Steal that gold! You disgrace our family, you are in for a world of hurt! Oh, really? And what might that be like? And the chickens do peck upon the head of Dave until the next sunrise and well into the afternoon. Dave, it is now the 16th hour of the 16th day of the 16th month of your 16th year! 16th month? Has anyone checked this guy's math? <laughs> Right of pillage begins now! <laughs> Your first test is the battle cry! I am so ready for this one. Check me out. Okay, let's try it again. Battle cry! <laughs> uh, look out, people! Here I come! F. Hug, the dread footfalls of family disgrace draw nigh. If that means Dave's a bonehead, I agree. The second test is laying waste. <laughs> Sorry. You must lay waste here, <laughs> then you must lay waste over there. <laughs> then, when you feel you can no longer lay waste, you... <laughs> right? What is so funny? Nothing. And begin. Uh, begin what? You gotta ruin those buildings! Ruin them! Right, ruin them, got it. Hi <laughs> Understand, you were supposed to ruin them. I did. Look at that hideous paint job, the atrocious awnings, and the landscaping. Ugh. From a design standpoint, those buildings are ruined beyond belief. F minus. <laughs> the third test is plundering. <laughs> Not allowed to open the door for barbarians. Right, I totally get that. But I was wondering if I could just steal your jewels. We don't have any jewels. We're so poor, we can't afford to pay attention. <laughs> oh, that's very funny, little boy. But... We're so poor, we buy used food. Yeah, um. We're so poor, our baloney doesn't have a first name. <coughs> Hello? Has this thing been invented yet? Come on, these are the jokes, people. We're so poor, we can't buy a vowel. So two guys 
walk into a barbarian. Oh, there must be something lower than F minus Z. Z, 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 Z. Here's the plan. We move to a distant island, change our names, and disguise ourselves as a family of traveling donkey polishers. Is this before or after we beat Dave to a pulp? Guys, I I'm sorry. I brought humiliation and disgrace upon the family. I know you're mad at me, but I did my best. It's okay, Dave. Really? Psych! No way, man! Later on, we're gonna sneak up and skin you with a clamshell! I like clams. There is one final test. It is... Penmanship! Penmanship? Look out, people! You must post a clearly printed notice of intent to pillage. Begin! And so Dave writes. He writes as if his very life depends on it. Mighty is his ink and flawless his calligraphy. Ne'er has such a feat of penmanship been witnessed in the history of mankind. And his spelling is good, too. Now that's got to count for something. Indeed. Penmanship is 70% of your final grade. That's just weird. I know, but the whole right of pillage thing is sponsored by a pen company. D minus! David, today you are a barbarian! Wow, there's no way I can carry this much weight. And yea, the people do gather in honor of this Dave's most special day. Because, hey, free food. Let's hear it for Dave, the official barbarian. For he's a real barbarian. For he's a real barbarian. For he's a real barbarian. Slaying waste. I get it. <laughs> and that's the end. Goodbye. Bling Bling meets Dingaling. The Disney Channel original animated comedy series Brandy and Mr. Whiskers is coming up next. Here only on Disney Channel.